Odeon Castle lies on the banks of the Basingstoke Canal. The castle with its surrounding defensive ditches was built between 1207 and 1214. The site was chosen by King John as a convenient point between his strongholds at Winchester and Windsor. Soon after it was finished in 1216, the castle was suffered a two-week siege by French knights. The knights were sent to support the barons in their rebellion against King John after the failure of the Magna Carta to bring peace. The castle was granted by King Henry III to John's daughter Eleanor in 1236. Two years later, Eleanor married Simon de Montfort, one of the most powerful noblemen in the country. This union would have made Odin one of the most powerful households in the land. But Simon took a leading role in the rebellion against Henry III, eventually stripping the king of power and taking rule of England for himself. During the 14th century, the castle played a role in several significant events, including the seating of Parliament, a rebellion led by the powerful Dispenser family, and the imprisonment of King David II of Scotland. The Scottish King was imprisoned at Odeon for 11 years after his capture at the Battle of Neville Cross in 1346. He was held under a light guard and was allowed to keep a household. In 1357, his release was agreed in exchange for a promised ransom by the Scottish nobility. By the 15th century, the castle lost its status as a royal residence and became a hunting lodge. During the following 200 years, little money was spent on the upkeep of the building. In its declining state, it was seen as a source of building materials and many parts were used to build local houses. By 1603, it was classed as a ruin. Although today's battered remnants bear little resemblance to the formidable bastion of old, Every so often, a trapped memory seems to awaken within and raises the heckles of those amongst the ruins. It begins with a chilled breeze that seems to emanate from the very walls. A faint murmur is then heard which crescendos into an ancient song sung by some long lost forgotten minstrel who entertains his invisible audience accompanied by the soothing tones of a lute. Tonight you join us here from the wonderful Odeon Castle um, sometimes known as King John's Castle. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good night. Okay, so I'll just explain a bit about what we're doing. We're at the castle, obviously. Um, and if I just turn the camera around here and fall over, <laughs> as you can see, uh, we've got the laser light pointing out. And we've also got the door trap. If you remember when we went to Chilworth um, Gunpowder Mills, we had the, the door trap, which is where you step across it. And it breaks the beam and uh, let's know if there's anybody there. So hopefully. The obelisk here, two EMF meters and a temperature sensor. And the obelisk has gone off already and it says life. Life. L-I-F-E. So if there's any spirits here, if you wish to come and communicate with us, please feel free to do so. My name's Alan, I mean you no harm. My name's Vicky, and I mean you no harm. And over there is Ash. Please come forward, please communicate with us in any way, shape or form you know how. Touch one of us. Whisper your name in our ear. If you cross through the threshold of the castle, you'll set off an alarm.
Please approach. What's flashing over there on your camera? Record button. No, that side. Oh, there? That would be picking up your IR from your camera. See? Stop no, now. It's not. It's catching. Can't you see it? The side. Yeah. It's over here. If I do that, it should stop. Yeah. Now I start again. There's something wrong with this, and I'm pissed off with that, but... March. What is the significance of March, please? Is it March as in the month or March as in marching to or from this castle? Make a noise, throw a stone. <clears throat> Is Eleanor here? If you are, can you let us know by making a noise? Maybe you can move in front of the, the lights. Maybe you can throw a stone over here. Make a noise in these bushes. Get the sense that we're being watched, but I can't quite tell from where. Up there. I think it's up there. Where? This side. Over here. Over there. Yeah. Well, I'm feeling it. This side. If you're up in this window area, or this archway, can you show yourself? Come forward, show yourself. child in there down in here in behind the bars yeah
Do you want to come through? Do you want to tell us your name? I'm not here to hurt you. Is your name Daisy? What? <laughs> that struggled to get a word out then, didn't it? Ready. Okay, we're ready. Maybe you can show yourself. Make a noise for me. Who's Jack? Jack, come forward, please. Jack, do you have a surname? Making me cold, Jack. It's fine, you can make me cold. Just tell me your surname, please. Cartwright. Jack Cartwright. Come closer, Jack. Jack, if you go up to this this thing right in the centre of here, could you do that for me, please? First time, Jack. Make a noise. Can I hear your footsteps on the gravel?
Was that you? Did you say something, Vic? No. Did you say something? Something right here went hello in my ear. Male or female? Male. It went hello. Literally like that. Did you turn the laser out? What? Did you turn the laser out? No. Somebody's turned the laser out. What? Who turned the laser out? Obvious is stuck. Example. Something's affecting that. And there goes the K2 over that side. What side? Here? Yeah. Hello? That's really bizarre. It's almost like saying it's trying to shut it up. It killed my camera, it's killed the laser. Yeah, I think this is packed up all together here. I don't know, let's um... Change the battery now, I suppose. Because that's not right. <laughs> it's gone all in there, isn't it? I just think it's weird how the exact spot where it is is allegedly where the Magna Carta was signed. You know what I mean? It's. Yeah. Let's stop walking. Can't feel it. We got torch. Hey. Crossing. You're going fucking stupid. Over there. You stood over there. Are you getting a mash? Right, let's get this show on the road. Or road on the show. Or a show road. Program. Yes, we're making a program. You're welcome to come and join it. That 
light's a bit too bright. Is it? Mm. I'll cut it off then. We'll just lay it. That's better. I never touched that. Okay, that's a bit bizarre. <coughs> Are you trying to light up that piece of wall? I want to settle down. Okay, if there's any spirits here, can you please move the rods and cross them over to let me know that you are here? Okay. Thank you. Okay, the spirit that is here with me, are you a male spirit? If you are, can you just cross the rod? Are you male? I can't see anything, can't see the rods moving or anything, so I don't know. Oh, one's gone back round to the side and one's gone over there. Are you moving around this circle? I'm stood by the Magna Carta plaque. Is it a plaque? Some kind of tile, isn't it? Tile. Can you move? Can you move the rod to where you're standing? Show me your position. One's pointing behind you. The other one's pointing dead in front of you. Can goo goo. Okay, if there's a, a female spirit here, can you cross the rods, please? They crossed. Hey, okay. they're trying to cross, aren't they? Okay, thank you. The female spirit that's with me is your name Eleanor? You a sister of the king? See, that's bizarre because that is now pointing. Hang on, if I just turn the camera, uh, camera it's, around. It's, it's just it's going over there again. It's now. pointing towards this board here. And that board there. 
to do with her? It's to do with Eleanor and Simon de Montfort. And that's where it's pointing. Try and get the rods back in again. It's just, it, it's like there's a magnetic force. Because they're just spinning, aren't they? Yeah. Can't read it. I'll come around and have a look. Okay, if your name is Eleanor, can you show me where you're standing? That says Lamb. Right, the rods are now pointing... That way and this way. One over there. And one over here. And one behind you. So where would you be? That was just moved to behind you. No, that one's... Are you all around? Because that is spinning, just spinning, isn't it? Yeah. You're all around. Would you like to come forward and tell us your story? That's now stopped. I believe you were exiled. Is this true? If it is, can you cross the rods for me? If you were exiled, can you please cross the rods? Yep, there you go. So you were exiled, thank you very much. Honestly, there's like a... They're going mad, aren't they? There's like a magnetic... F Which we know there can't be because we've got the... Exactly. EMF meters there exactly. and they pick up magnetic fields. Exactly. Eleanor, did you have any children? If you had any children, can you please cross the rods for me? Did you have any children? Crossed. You did. Okay, thank you. Holiday. Oh, I ain't having holiday. Not yet. Irrelevant. <laughs> no, no elephants here, I'm afraid. Eleanor, is it you that's affecting all the batteries? Draining our batteries? Cool. Oh, that one's really... You can feel it tugging. I... It's really... I just think it's weird that the torch rolled from the centre over, over to there. there and now the rods are pointing over, over to there. Can we clarify, Eleanor, that the king was your brother? Cross the rods if the king was your brother. There they go. I'm going to stand from here, I'm going to go over there. Okay. And see what happens over here. OK, 
come on then. They're like stuck, as if they're stuck together. How do you mean? It was like, you know, for, you got. It was like it was trying to move. I could feel it trying to move. Yeah. Right? But it was like stuck there. It wouldn't. It wanted to go. As if they were like welded go. together. Yeah. That's bizarre. Well, you have a go with them. See how you get on. From. I can never use rods, but I'll give it a go. Just let them settle and go from there. You don't have to hold the tops because they want to swivel. Okay, Eleanor, do you want to come and talk to me? If so, please cross the rods. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Do you think it's possible that she doesn't, she can't talk to me because I'm male? Possibility. I don't know, because she was... But I'm not picking up on her at all. You're not? I had Daisy over there, Where's but I'm not picking up on anything else at all. Right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's walk to the centre. Whoa, look. What? The closer I get to the centre, they go mad, look. Look at it. There's some sort of force. Yeah. Right above the Magna Carta signing yeah. area. There is. That's Where'd, where'd it go? Look, 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 look. What? Pointing in both directions now. That is bizarre. I can't work it out. Well, let me just have a look on here. Classic. But you're right, it's almost like they're being pulled. Ask, is her name Eleanor of Pembrokeshire? She was widowed. Crossed. <sighs> this is draining me. See, when I speak, nothing. It's when you speak. <coughs> I can feel it. Feel what? It's hard to describe. It's almost like I'm being pulled down. Like there's, like... <laughs> Like I said, I'll... Wait, hold on, let me... <sighs> right, Eleanor? I 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, they've sailed. All right. Well, Eleanor, you were widowed, and you were Eleanor of Pembrokeshire. Is this correct? Could you cross the rods? There they go. They're crossing. They've crossed. Thank you. Okay, yes. thank you. Eleanor, can you not speak to me? Are you not allowed to speak to me? Now look at that. Open it up. She's not allowed to speak to me. Okay, Eleanor. Then we'll carry on. Now you were married to a French noble, is this correct? Cross the rods if it's correct. They've crossed. Yeah? Yep. Okay. And the French noble was Simon de Montfort, is that correct? They haven't moved, so I assume so, they're still crossed. Yeah. And he was invested as the 6th Earl of Leicester. Is that correct? And they've crossed again. They have? Yep. And they're uncrossing. Send. Send. Okay. Earl of Leicester, right. And you... You and your new husband, you transformed this castle into your own residence, is this correct? And they've crossed again. Okay, thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. Right, your husband, Simon, met his death during the Battle of Evesham, fighting an army led by the future king, Edward I. Is this correct, Eleanor? And they've crossed again. Thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. Okay, Eleanor, you were then exiled to France and were never to return to England again. Is this correct? And they're crossing again. Correct. Okay, Eleanor, thank you. Eleanor, are you here now because you class this building as your home still? This is where you're happiest. Crossed again. Eleanor, are there any other spirits here with us? Yes. There not, are. She's not sure. I don't think it's crossed at the tip. Oh no, there we go. Crossed. So that's a yes. Eleanor, how many are there? Is there between one and five? Is there between five and ten? One's moving, one's not. There we go. There's between five and ten, apparently. Right, okay. Okay, thank you. Do we have Edward I with us? Is Edward I with us? If you are, could you cross the rods for me? No? Nothing? No. 
see if I can get Eleanor to answer these questions then. Okay, Eleanor, when you were exiled, or shall I say, when you began your exile, seven years later, Edward I came to the throne. Is this correct? Yes. Thank you. And according to the past information, Edward I improved the castle during his reign and spent the Christmas of 1302 here. Is that correct? Pointing me in the direction. Huh? It's pointing me in the direction now. What, over there? No one's come back to the front. Well, they've crossed. Sort of. Yeah, there they go. Hey? They've crossed. They have. This right. is so bizarre, though. Edward II, in 1307, succeeded the reign of Edward I. Is this correct? The crossing. Thank you. Thank you. Right, his weak rule saw Odium Castle damaged by Robert Ewer, who, along with the Dispenser family, fell in and out of favour with the King. Is this correct? It crossed. Okay, thank you. Okay, Edward's, Edward's queen, Isabella, forced the king to abdicate in 1327 in favour of his son Edward III. Is this correct? They've crossed, and this says won, as in I won something, W-O-N. Oh. Some break. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. That's drained me, that has. Actually drained me. That's really weird. Very strange, that. I've never known anything to be so uh, responsive like that. Eleanor, if she's respond, if she's here and she's responded like that, she must have loved it here. She did say that, yeah. Well, there we go, Odeon Castle. Very strange night. Very warm. Thanks for watching.